Stan Jibalisco here, uh, looking at some wallpaper that I downloaded from somewhere in the public domain, I forget exactly where, and tampered with it using Corel Photo Paint to get this dramatic image of the mountains. It looks a great deal like the Bighorn Mountains in Wyoming, just be south of Sheridan, between Sheridan and Buffalo. You have, of course, this valley and the snow-capped peaks. This is probably uh, a late summer or early fall scenario. I've lived in a couple of places like this, and they're really cool, where you've got these valleys and then mountains. The Sierra Nevada was one example. Look how that arrow changes color. Isn't that cool? Uh, this uh, new operating system has a lot of cool features for the pointer the, of for the mouse. Uh, this one's called inverted. Uh, so green you get a purple pointer, white you get a black pointer, dark blue you get well yeah blue you get a sort of a orange pointer and then black of course you get white again. But what I'd like to show you here is and I'm going to launch Internet Explorer and then go to this site directly. Do you want to open this PDF file from Array Solutions? Open it. It goes to this Adobe Reader, which is going to be the last thing I can see in this uh, video, except for the mountains again. Array Solutions, AS2L, Two Element Hybrid Array Manual and User's Guide. This is for a vertical antenna phasing system for two verticals that you want to uh, phase in such a way as to provide a steerable array. And this is basically the instruction manual, Array Solutions. 2611 North Bell Line Road, Suite 109, Sunnyvale, Texas, 75182. Here's ArraySolutions.com. Let's see what we get when we go there. Reader is trying to open Internet Explorer. You mean to switch apps? Yeah, I guess I do. Now we've got them both. We got them both side by side. Now, is that cool or what? I've never seen that before in an operating system. I'm kind of conflicted about computers like this, you know, where the operating system, every time they make a new version of one, you've got to learn it all over again, which is both a pain in the ass and also a great tweak freak experience because it's fun to learn all this new stuff. But what this will do. This is, um, well, this is an automatic antenna tuner, it looks like. That's a lot of money for an antenna tuner. That thing better work. But here's what I'm really looking at, is this phasing box uh, for phased vertical antennas, uh, such as 40-meter full-size quarter-wave ground-mounted verticals, they may be loaded, as in a previous uh, verdict, uh, previous video, <laughs> uh, inductively loaded or full size. The important thing is you need plenty of radials. There's your schematic diagram. WX0B. Thank you for purchasing this high-quality phasing system. Well, I'm not going to offer a review of this system because I've never seen it in, in, in action, but if any of you have, uh, I'm going to try and remember to leave comments uh, open so that people can talk about this thing. Does, has anybody out there ever used one of these? It sounds pretty cool to me, although phased verticals is not really my favorite type of antenna. I would more be more inclined to go for the greatest possible efficiency that I could get in an antenna. 
and forget about all the fancy stuff. But if you want the fancy stuff, you got it right here. The Array Solutions AS2L Two Element Hybrid Array Manual. And of course you get the user's guide if you buy the the box. A little bonus there. I wonder if it's in here. Well, Shared Apex Loop Array. They got a lot of cool stuff at this site, uh, ArraySolutions.com. So go there and check it out. I'll provide a link to it in the description of this video. Stan Gibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73 for now, and so long for now also.